This video will show you how to use the column addition method where the tens and units columns both total 10 or more. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to put my tens and units columns in because it's really important that I write the calculation correctly beneath there. So the first calculation that I'm going to do is 67 add 55. I put some lines for a space for my answer. Add the units first. 7 units and 5 units is 12 units. So the 2 of the 12 goes in the units column and the 10 goes just beneath the answer column, large so that I don't forget about it. Then I can add the rest of the tens. Six tens and five tens makes eleven tens, and this one ten from earlier makes twelve tens. And I can write that like so, one hundred and twenty-two. I'll do another example. Again, I'll put my tens and units column titles. And this time I'm going to do 58 add 43. So add the units first, 8 and 3 is 11. Put the 1 there and the 110 there. So I've, there's my 11, 110 and 1 unit. But I'm not ready to put that in the answer space yet because there are other 10s that need to be added to it. So we've got 5 10s and 4 10s is 9 10s. Add this one makes 10 10s. So I put the 10 like that and the answer in this case is 101. As you can see the answer has gone into this next place value column along which is the hundreds. If you've coped okay with that then please watch my other videos which show you how to do exactly the same with the column myth method when larger numbers are involved. If this is a little bit tricky I also have videos showing you what to do when you only need to carry one column or no columns at all.